Oh, bother. <laughs>Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Reign of the Jade Dragon. I'm still Yin Yang Total War, and last time we left off, we had just taken, taken <laughs> Pahua. Um, we also had pulled back with Dion Wei. Not sure why we're uh, two turns out with that recruitment. Let's go ahead and drop that. Um, let's see what else we've got going on here. Celestial General. Not a whole lot. We do have to wa uh, watch out for this warlord. He's got a lot of Bulgars, which we should be able to handle pretty easily. But what we wouldn't be able to handle uh, is the Fem Warriors and the Fiona Fem more specifically. That is what's going to be tough on our Jade General Warriors, who don't really output host. a lot of damage, right? Um, they're very good and tough, but they're not... They're not... Uh, they're not kicking people's chests in. So, looking at you on boat, let's go ahead and upgrade him from his last battle. Uh, hmm. We definitely. I don't think I've ever used Blossom Wind. Blinded. That's interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Jade Shield. We already have that, um, it's just not active. And then Okay, let's do Net of Amon talk. We'll also do Blossom Wind, I suppose. A useful tool. And I probably should have done recruitment, but that's alright. got the glittering robe we got the plague of rust um we'll just keep taking her down her tree and Which do we have the ability the to impact. continue replacing yes we do so that is exactly what we will do a celestial just command. like that and Let's get another Jade Warrior, and then we'll start on our Jade Warrior Spears as well. The Jade Dragon. And Yuan Shun Song is ready to uh, upgrade again, so we'll do that. Better scales, and nothing wrong with that. Indeed. And I suppose that we will upgrade, let's upgrade the High Sentinel, because it can literally do nothing right now, it's just a dock. And it's the most exposed. The floating pyramid is like right here. Like you'd have to do quite a bit to get out or to get to it. So now something that we do want to keep an eye out on is uh, I, I'm not going to try and pronounce that right now. Well, let's try it anyway. Spectazuma, Spectazuma. Okay, Spectazuma. Anyway, uh, we do want to keep an eye out on that. That is. Uh, most likely Skaven right there, and then the Monument of Izal, that's probably going to be Skaven as well. Um, I don't know how we're going to handle the Temple of Kara, we will see. Or not the Temple of Kara, but the, uh, you know, Wolfheart. Hunt Marshall's Expedition. Welcome, we Outlander. I will listen. But my time is short. I care about trading, not about non-aggression. And it looks like it's still mostly a Cathay thing uh, that we'll be able to trade with. Favored but we can see the northern provinces, which is fantastic. Emperor's favor for the Emperor's honor. 
and I believe that should open us up to the Child, Imperial Warden. Where there is understanding, there is balance. Long lip. Which will then open us up to. No, can we not see Wei Jin? Why? Hmm, that's interesting. But that's okay. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on. The Gutsman's Horde. You better give me nope. one. What about Knoblar Country? No. And any Ogre Kingdoms want to trade? The old Ogres eat their way out. Obey me. So long as you are Tyrant. So long as you Tyrant. Traveling the ivory. Me. The ever hunt. Meet rich human. And just so long as you remember. Carve and I am the slew. All right. Greetings. Yes. Do not greet. Sigma's wit. Deliver your message. Looks like we're not having much success in the old world. As far as setting up permanent trade agreements, we'll just keep sending caravans and hope for the best. So, let's see. Speaking of, let's take a look at matters of state, see what we can do. Nothing is ready to be a fortress city just yet. That's not really going to help us right now. We should get a fortress city just to increase our overall stone and steel, but nothing is ready to become a fortress city. When I do make one, I imagine it will probably be the Isle of the Crimson Skull. Just so that we have a strong foothold forever down here. Sorcery. But Through that's going to be it for this turn. And uh, last time I, or not last time, but in uh, in the last video that I made, which would be the um, our Glory of the Dark Gods video. Uh, featuring the Norskin, I decided that I wanted to start asking you guys who your favorite character was. So let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about a little bit of lore on this one as well. Um, so I'm gonna put this question out to everyone: Who is your favorite? Uh, who is your favorite of the Dragon Children? Right. Technically, we only know three, um, like, know them, know them, but Yin Yin is pretty self-explanatory, like, she, she has some pre-built lore in, um, and we basically know what Lee Dao's about, so of the five, of the, let's, let's just say of the five, maybe Shinzu too, but we don't really know anything about her, but of the five, uh, main dragon children, which one is your favorite? and and why um personally my favorite is still miao ying although i do have a big soft spot for xiao ming he's probably more like me as a as a uh person but <laughs> uh something about something about meow meow uh probably because i saw her first right she just uh she seems like a jerk and i like it Hang huo uh, caravan. Let's see. Combat drills. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to gain experience at the 
lost of money. So, Knights of the Flame, I don't see why we wouldn't accept them. So, yeah. Clark Rod, absolutely not. Volgathe. Keeper of Wuxing. Okay, and let's take a look at our wider plans are afoot. I don't know who's at the Monument of the Moon. I do know it's Vimir. <laughs> so let's not. <laughs> let's not go to the Monument of the Moon. Um It does seem like Hexwaddle is pretty isolated. Um, Maku Peaks is Dark Elf. The Fallen Gates are Dark Elf. Uh, the Ziggurat of Dawn. I can't see, but I imagine it's probably not in Hexwaddle's control. And it might be best just to go up, to go ahead up to the Isthmus of Lustria and take them out before they get really strong. But that is taken on uh, one of the greatest of the slon, if not the greatest living slon. So of the that might not be the best move for us. Master of the meat what we're going to do instead is I'm going to leave let's see tactician unyielding I think Distinguishing scar of oh, neat uh, train. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. We're Dragon we're gonna change the way she looks. She is going to hold Fahua for us, and we're going to actually turn and go south. Uh, let's see. What do we want her to look like? Not none of them with the skirts or with the uh, cleavage. Thank you. My men revere me, as is right. The glory of Cathay is unparalleled. Yeah, let's go with her. She looks mean. Power is my birthright. Dragon blood. And if anybody has a name that they want to attach to uh, Mayun Kang, that would be I great. I will not tolerate sloth. Sorcery through me. An orderly fashion. It is time Go. for the J Dragon to head Child south. Of the night. I guess I could have just taken these peasant spears. I'll do that. I'll do that Bureaucrat. next. Um, Sorcerer. General. So I'll just have her recruit. My time for poetry and calligraphy shrinks by the day. And that'll be that. A celestial command. Now, speaking of recruiting, Dion Way is up to 15. I'm curious where exactly that army went and if it is possible for us to take out the Belfort Hills without it present. General! I think the uh, Ancestors, best, our best move is going us. to be to go ahead and move up. Yeah. It looks like they're just out of range. So if we struck the Belfort Hills, they would probably return and try to uh, take us out. Humility in all things. So let's continue recruiting. Uh, we've got six of them, four of them, and four of them. Let's do two more archers. Because I think that's really going to be our saving grace when it comes to fighting these guys. And we've got some research available. Uh, I'm gonna go with Let me just make sure Yeah, because we're not really heavy using heavily using the, uh, the peasant so I'm gonna go with dragon scales get my guys to be even tougher the Imperial bureaucracy awaits our command
So I know that it is going to be quite a ways off, right? Because we've probably got at least three more DLC before we work our way back into uh, hopefully Cathay at some point. But I'm really hoping that Cathay brings the um, brings the Monkey King and Lee Dao in one swoop. I don't see why they wouldn't. I think it would be for the best just to go ahead and and knock it out. Because how many how many DLC is really tenable for Cathay? Especially with what they gave us this past time, right? You gave us, what, three units? So, <laughs> I can't imagine just trying to, like, spread out all of all of the stuff they have for Cathay over a couple arm or over, like, three DLC. That would be insane. Unless they're really hiding some stuff, which I highly doubt. Um... I, I would I would make one of them at least a free LC, uh, be it Yin Yin or Li Dao. Obviously, we're going to end up paying for the Monkey King, assuming we get that far. I really hope that we do, though. I really hope that we get at least to the Monkey King because he seems like he'd be pretty hard for a uh, for a modding team to input, just because he seems so unique. Like his animations would be very unique, right? Um. I don't I don't really want modders to do that one. Brotherhood of the Bear? Uh sure. I inspire my men. I hope that's not Brotherhood of the Bear, Brotherhood of the Bear, Brotherhood of the Bear. No, that's not. Right? Okay, cool. Celestial General. And they've prepped off somewhere. I'm not sure where to, but they're not guarding their territory. And so we're going to... Oh, ambush. Well, I walked right into that one. And, uh, you know, hopefully this blunder doesn't end up killing us. But it's possible that Dion Wei could die here. So let's uh, let's get into this ambush. All right, the ambush has begun, but we are warriors of the Jade Dragon. We have trained for this and uh, we're going to do our best. Although I will say, why does, why does uh, Total War feel in an ambush situation? that the archers would be in the rear. I've never understood that. There's nobody being rear guard to your weakest element. That makes zero sense. But here they come and, oh, melting some of our warriors. And before they can get that surround off, we have covered our blank, which is exactly what needed to happen. But not before their warlord got right into the middle of our archers. But Dion Wei is not going to let him uh, have his way, right? Although I will say it's not looking, uh, it's not looking like we're doing too much damage to him. Looking out further afield, we're trying to uh, flank our flankers, right? And on the front side, we've got a... Uh, thankfully, we've got a bunch of boulders. They're not going to be able to do a ton to us. But we do have to worry about these premier. They're just melting our food. Oh, and Dion Way just got slung halfway across the field. Oh, and it is not looking good for our champion. The archers have had enough of this. Honor be damned. 
the child of a dragon is at uh, is in danger and this cannot stand, right? Alright, and taking a look at how things are going up here. It does appear that we have been able to outflank our ambushes, which is good. And a big shout out to OVN for making these premieres. They're so intimidating, right? Um, it's not a force that you want to go up against. All right, and Dion Wayne never backed down, but the Premier did, and he is out of here. Let's uh, see what Dion Wayne can do now that he is uh, freed up from that losing battle. And I will say that if they were going to ambush us, this is the absolute most perfect place that they could have done it, coming down off the hill. All these reeds that we, I mean, we, we weren't gonna see through this. This is a great ambush map, so good job on CA for that one. There's Dion the Wayne now. It looks like the Dion of them are ready to abandon uh, the battle, which is good for us. Looks like we've got one last holdout up here. And with the arrows raining down, it does appear that they are broken. All right, so now that they're fleeing, I'll let the troops chase them down, but I will see you back on the campaign map. All right, and I can't believe that we actually pulled that off. <laughs> I really thought they were going to get us. Uh, but we didn't deal lasting damage to them either, which is the problem, right? So we're going to take those army replenishments. But Dion Way is not about to uh, be taking them out anytime soon. Celestial General. Actually, let's Reverse pull back a little ground. bit. Attention. Let's see what we can do for him. We need to make him tougher that, for sure. I would lead more effectively. I will make a soldier out of every raw recruit. The spears did really well. But I would like something a little bit different. Ooh, only one turn until we can go up a tier. And it's no wonder that they're so tough out the gate. They have a level 3 settlement. I've got a level 1. I should have gone after... Um, I should have gone after the uh, Dynasty of the Damned, but I chose not to, which I am afraid is going to end up being my... 
Leader of men. We will overcome it regardless, but it's tough in the short term. Let's get two more spears. The yin and the yang. No wonder. And Celestial General. The only legendary characters that can do that? Yeah. Well, that sucks. Like we're still focused on that. Um, broken land, fruit, growth. We could point it towards the Hunting Base. I suppose we can't point it towards the Hunting. I would like to. Yeah, let's go with Dragon Emperor's Wrath. First among warriors. Dragon blooded sugar gun. Birds tell me such stories of my siblings. So many plots, intrigue, secrecy. For further increased mobility, let's get down to the floating the pyramid. The defenses. Oh, it looks no. like it took all of our. Hmm. Well, that sucks. More warriors mean fewer farmers. We'll go ahead and upgrade that as well. And it is definitely time to start getting some artillery. Also go for a where well, based on where we're at, let's go for a spice one.
All right, the Sons of the Mountain. I don't think that we'd have any issue with them. So let's take them. We do have issue with Sartorial. The Crown has a new holder. So if you guys are watching my Norska Let's Play, you know that this has already happened for them. But Vazgrat the Lucky is now in control of the Crown of, uh, of, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> the Nemesis Crown, not the Crown of Sorcery. The Nemesis Crown. Um, and maybe, uh, maybe it's something we could seek out as well. But that is for the future. We're not going to worry about that right this second. Dragon. But it's nice to know who has it. Adhere to all assigned the rotors. Governor and executioner. And I think what we'll do with you on boat is we will wait until uh, we have access to the Nangal Forge so that we can start pumping out some uh, some juggernaut, which would be great to have down here. Um, the Emperor's I guess what we could do with two of the slots is we don't have any cavalry, like anything to really speed across the battlefield besides our flyers. Um, so it might be a great idea, or at least a good idea. Well, no, let's, let's get some, let's get some Jade Spears. That's what we'll do. So Jade Spears, and then we'll focus on other stuff. And it looks like we're running pretty low on funds. Instrument of the Divine. I can't attack the Belfield Hills, not with all of that going on in there. Go if you so... Help our victory is going to basically be for not unfortunately there's just not Glory a lot that i can clear. do uh with the on as we as it stands right now so perhaps we can uh repay the trickery favor. is unbecoming but necessary We'll hang out right here. Maybe he decides to come down and pay a visit to Shang Wu, and we can return the favor of the ambush. But that is going to actually be it for us on this uh, on on this episode. I do hope that you all enjoyed our battle and uh, setting up for the series of events that is going to take place next. Until next time, to all my friends wherever you are. Good morning, good evening, and good night. I'll see you on the next one. If you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thanks for watching, especially to those of you who have been with me since the beginning. I am still having a blast and very much enjoying the formation of this community with all of you. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, please let me know because I want to make even better content as we continue down this journey together. As always, if you enjoy what I'm doing here and want to support me, then you know what to do. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.